On my mama, man, size 16 is hard to cop. It's Boat Kicks. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Boat Kicks. Back with another unboxing here. Uh, another Reebok. Um, shout out to me and my kicks, man. If you go over to his channel, it won't take you long to find that he is a huge Reebok answer and Reebok question fan. Uh, pretty much all of the silhouettes, it seems like. My guy is real extensive with that collection over there, but some of his love for the question for show, for show, for show, has rubbed off on your boy. Uh, yeah, me and my kids, if y'all don't know, his, his link is pretty much at this point always in my description to my videos. So y'all can go down there and uh, sub to him if you're not already. You should be. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, man. We talked about this pair a little bit when I told him I was picking it up. He said he was waiting for the price to drop, but you know, with the bow sizing, I rarely have that luxury. Uh, this will now be my second. Uh, for the longest time, I always felt that the question man wouldn't uh, support my size because they always just go up to 15. You know, it's been probably since the original Reebok question, that's my daughter, um, came out. Uh, last experiences with it, you know what I mean? And once my foot shot up uh, to a size 16, it limited me on a lot of different silhouettes. You know, a lot of pairs I just couldn't rock with anymore because they grew too big. So, that this I did pick up from Go. This you guys know I have no use for. So uh, like always, it's got to get up out of here. And you, you know what the saying goes: mark that thing. They got stuff. That shit. Get out. Get out. Okay. Anyway, so I did pick this up from Go. Go that, and I like this box. Uh, by classic this is i think a chinese new year pair uh pull out box question mid um, yeah it doesn't even say does it say no nah, it doesn't even say really the colorway on this side but um, some french shout out homegrown kicks i can't read that bro but you know we're gonna leave that to you I ain't gonna bite that. I don't know what I would do, but uh, it has some type of, I don't know, like embossed design on it, pattern. And I think it is a, a Chinese New Year shoe. I don't know if I read them, but I, I do believe it is the year of the rat. I've seen a couple videos uh, on it that labeled it as such. Shout out to, uh, I think his name is GK Kicks, man. Uh, I, the, one of the reviews I seen was his. Um, I think he does, he he looks at legit and uh, UA pairs. I don't know. Um, usually we don't go down that road, but hey, to each his own. But that, and then also um, another guy who I just recently subbed to. I can't remember your name, and I'll blast it on the screen or show your ID or something. But bam, right there, bam, should be there. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, shout out to my homie, me and my kicks. Uh, initially, he said I probably wouldn't be able to squeeze into a size 15 of a question me. Uh, everybody's feet is different though, but he, he calls my foot a fat foot, but I'm really a size 15. I don't think so. I think I'm really a 16 and just some shoes are made different, bro. He's nappy as hell. Okay, not mad at it all. Oh, you know, inside here, you always get to go punch out cards. Uh, nothing else in here, just making sure. Little stickers and whatnot. We don't care about that too much. Let me slide this back on. I like this box. Notice in most reviews for Question Mids, they come with that classic. Uh, 
pull off top with it. Or if that's the appropriate way of saying it. How are we gonna do this? Bam, bam. And bam. There it is. The Reebok question mid gray suede, also known as the Year of the Rats, Chinese New Year's. And this is a hairy ass shoe. I mean, bruh. If this ain't KD Naps, I don't know. I don't know what else it is. Just got the, you gotta like brush. Shit get lint, get caught into it like some nappy ass hair and everything, man. Um, you know how I usually start these. I'm gonna get off into the sole. And that's a little different from what I've been seeing on on a lot of pairs is no translucent sole um, either it's usually translucent or a gum bottom and this one not at all so gray you see uh two different shades of gray really a light gray and a dark gray reebok in kind of like a, a eggshell or a sail or a off-white colorway um you got that hexalite tech in there not mad at that uh, it's not really see-through like it used to. Chris from Wear Testers will tell you, it does have hexalite in it, but it's not the same as what it used to. It used to have full hexalite, where you can damn near see through the whole shoe. Uh, now it's just like a small unit, I guess, that's in the back here, or maybe a small unit here, or maybe just back here in, in general. Don't know. Um, the sole, or the midsole here, is pretty much a cell colorway or off-white hexalite bubbles there or stickers to represent where the bubbles should be um, going into the the bottom part of the upper a dark hairy ass suede it, it's extremely soft to the touch it does change color i don't know how much i'll see that but it does it's nappy as hell though. and then on top of that you do have um, a lighter gray suede on this part of the upper the Reebok symbol there stitched in a piping or a stitch of 3M there we'll check that out later the eyelets um uh, how does it read it let's see I think it is on this pair yeah Reebok going down that way which is cool you know um uh, Rolling over to the, the toe box, as I mentioned before, that hairy, dark gray, gray suede. Tip of the toe, you see it, that gray come up from the sole, you know, uh, moving past the mid sole. Thick rope laces. It's kind of a very light pink, almost like a, a little rat tail. A little master splinter going on right there. That's not bad neither. Mesh up the tongue all the way until we hit the top of the tongue where we got that hairy suede again if y'all can see that and then also that Reebok stitched logo there um, the medial pretty much the same still has also the 3M hit there not a lot of 3M I might swap these out for a different pink like something maybe more vibrant with 3M in it as well I don't know yet um these ain't bad, but you know, I don't know. Uh, but everything else pretty much the same on the medial. Rolling around to the back here, the heel. You see the question logo over this mesh tab here. I don't know how much of this is actually 3M. We'll take a look at it, like I said. Uh, dope dark gray stitching around this panel. And then the dark gray uh, suede. Also on the bottom there you see, which is oddly enough that's stitched into this uh, plastic. That's rough, that's hard to do. Stitched number three, AI's number in that plastic there. The back uh, outsole rolling up gray there on the back of the heel. That's fire to me. And these are dope, man. These are dope. Happy to add them to the collection. Um, as of late, I actually ordered a, um, a 
totally different question from StockX, okay? I ordered that from StockX. I can't remember the date, but it, it might have been like two weeks before I actually ordered this. I ordered it like immediately after I ordered the Bubba Chucks, okay? I've been, like I said, I've been on my Reebok hype and my question hype. So, GOAT, sit you right here because you need to be definitely um, respected and advertised a little bit better. Um, so, StockX, man, like two weeks before I even ordered these, this was extremely quick. I, I think I might have ordered this like last, I don't know, last Friday, something, I don't know. Maybe last Tuesday. I, I can't remember. Anyways, I ordered them. They got verified quick. They got shipped out quick. They're here quick. The the Reebok I ordered or the question made I ordered from StockX. I'm still waiting on that pair. I think they might come Saturday. I'm not sure. But they send you all this bullshit on these delays. First of all, StockX, you always taking hell long. I'm not saying I'm... Um, it's the worst thing in the world. As long as you send me an authentic pair, I'm not tripping too much, but they always take forever, okay? Um, they, they hold on to your shit for hella long, you know what I mean? And then they finally send it out. This same pair was on StockX too, for the same exact price. And I checked after, I actually um, checked what the price would be on StockX. I went over to go check what it would be shipping fees and authentication and all that and it was like 10 bucks cheaper like so not only is it cheaper to go through go but your shoes will probably get there faster in some cases i go through stock edge because it is like an overall cheaper shoe and i recommend that for everybody you know uh find the best deal for yourself but uh, if, if somebody else has a better deal or if it's the same deal for goat and stock x i would go through goat Simply because, look at the process they go through authenticating. I'm with that. The process they go through um, shipping. I'm with that. Um, the fees added. It's better there. Um, if you have anything missing from the package, any damage done to your box, anything like that, they will discount the fee. I've reached out to them before and got stuff marked down because either an extra pair of laces was missing or something like something simple or damage to the box and they've sent me a credit and all kind of stuff so go perfect excellent work excellent job um stock x is improvement but i still rock with y'all um, I, I know a lot of horror stories of people doing business with stock x as far as being hacked and things like that that hasn't happened to me yet i hope it doesn't you know uh, i don't know how i'm uh, go about it in the future maybe i'll remove i don't know put a put a certain card i only deposit like enough money to handle whatever i'm gonna buy or something to that effect so when they hack they can't pull anything substantial you know just have my other accounts for something else i don't other otherwise uh goat is the way to go man stock x like i said i still mess with but goat is the primary source if you can't get it there um, other than that, man, another question added to the collection. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Thank y'all for rocking my videos, man. I appreciate all of you. Until the next time.